But what I want to do today is, is, is really talk about the future of eXp, where it's going. If you really believe that because uh, we're making agent owners and sharing revenues, that this company is going to go to 400,000 in North America, and then exit it might take five, six, seven years, maybe even takes 10 years. And then as we open three countries a year for the next 10 years, and we open 30 countries, this company will have a million agents throughout the world for eXp. There is no brokerage making their agents owners. There is nobody sharing the revenues. We got a 10 year head start on the competition. I mean, if you really sit down and think, what is the future of eXp? It's a million agents. Where are we? 27,000. We, we're just getting started. We're, we're about 2.7% built out. And so you're on the front end of a movement. I know sometimes you're worried. You're thinking, oh my gosh, did I miss the wave? We're just getting started. Yesterday I was in um, the Bay Area and Krista Proctor was just shocked. She's like, they have no clue about eXp. And you can't keep eXp in Sacramento. You can't keep it in Grass Valley. You can't keep it in Reno. And as you reach out and expand, you're, you're here at a very, very special time. So what we want to do is talk to you about that. And then as you're sponsoring people, as you're bringing them into the business, how many of you agree it's, it's important to get started on the right foot, right? So we're gonna give you a lot of strategic information as leaders, what you need to do this year to really take your business to the next level. But we're gonna actually make a little video today, uh, basically called you know, your first 30 days. It's a launch video. In other words, the second someone makes application for eXp, they go to join.exprealty.com and they apply. The second they do that, what you want to do is get them the video you're about to see, okay? And so this is going to have uh, a checklist. They could actually go, done, check, check, check. It's pretty much like a um, recipe for chocolate chip cookies, etc. Does that make sense? And, and usually you'd be surprised how many people sign up and they haven't ordered their business cards or they don't have an avatar or they've never taken a tour of the world or they don't go to classes. And so we want to create a system a duplicatable system for everybody. So you guys ready? ready? All right, so this will be a checklist that can be downloaded at brentgoresources.com. So we're gonna run through this quickly and it'll be backed up by the checklist. So number one, the first thing you want to do with your agent when they join eXp is get them with your local onboarding specialist. Now back east, there are people that have people who help people build an avatar, hold their hand, take them on a tour of the world, order their business cards, um, you know, set up their email, uh, help them set up their website. Here in Northern California, we have an onboarding department. And if you're in Northern California, you could email onboarding at brentgove.com. That's for Northern California. We can't handle all the US and Canada. So what you wanna do is ask your sponsor or your sponsor sponsor, hey, who do I talk to? How do I get professionally onboarded? There's also the onboarding department at eXp. We just want a pluses. Does that make sense to everyone? Very important to get people started on the, on the right thing. We can help them order their signs. We can help them import data. We can just kind of point them in the right direction. Number two, it's important if you're a brand new agent to plug into the eXp world, to actually start taking classes. I'm gonna ask you guys to raise hands. How many of you, by show of hands, have actually gone into every department in the XP world, accounting, technology, marketing, onboarding services, Canadian brokerage operations, right? All that sort of thing, human resources, um, a, a, you know, agent services, all the different departments, technology and going, how do you help us in accounting? What is it you do in technology? And let them give you a spiel. Raise your hand right now, I just wanna see who here is actually taking the time to do that. So uh, it, it's shockingly low. And you guys are hardcore leaders. You're the ones that want to make 10, 20,000 a month or more, which is, you know, 120 to 240,000 a year. Do you know what kind of investment you have to have to kick out 240,000 a year cash flow? That's a poultry 20,000 a month. You can get there so quick if you want to get really, really serious. So you dial up that internal passion. But I'm telling you right now, you need, like, tomorrow, just set aside some time and click on go to accounting, go to marketing, go to technology and meet. This is not like Glenn Sanford's world. This is your, this is our world. Does that make sense? 
Like as we bring on ancillary companies like home warranty and mortgage and title and escrow and iBuyer and um, uh, you know moving hub and 360, the virtual tour company, this isn't EXP's ancillary services. They're yours, right? They're yours. So do you know them? Have you educated yourself on them? We yesterday have a group in Texas with 93 listings and they are not coming to EXP because we don't offer a virtual tour through, um, it's called Matter, 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 what we do, we have the new 360 through EXP that offers the exact service. And so um, Tierney and Walsh, they did a little research. They're like, oh, this is brand new through EXP. We offer exactly what they want. And guess what? We just picked up a team with 93 listings. Is that a good day? Absolutely. So plug into the world. Number three, um, before you close your first deal, this bites agents in the kazookies, right? Go into accounting and show what is my split. Everybody splits 80-20, but if you're on a team, you have a split with your team. Like my agents when I came over were 50-50 with me, 60-40 with me, 70-30 with me. The longer they've been with me, the more I paid them. Some agents have been with me 8, 10, 12 years. They were on 80-20, so I have an 80-20 with EXP and an 80-20 with me. So it's really important you go into accounting and say, what do you show for me? Make sure you help your agents go in that that is done correctly because what will happen is they'll get paid wrong or let's say they had capped at Remax or Keller Williams or some other company and they're at a 100% split with that company and we have them capped for three, four, five, six months. Guess what happens? Then they're at 100%. And when we take 20% of their commission check on their first deal, they're bummed out because they're supposed to be at 100%, right? So you as the sponsor, make sure you go in there with them into accounting. And if they're supposed to be at 100% till this July, because we're honoring the cap because they've capped at a competing company and we honor that cap and we will do that many of the times, has to be approved, but we'll do it on a joining grant application. It needs to be done right because people don't get excited when, they, when they're missing two, $3,000 out of their check. We all agree? So help them do that. The next thing is review and attend class or <coughs> review and attend classes in the EXP world. How about this one? How many of you have attended a class in the world? Raise your hand. Now that, that's awesome. Like the, almost the whole room. That's great. But you also need to go to the departments. You need to know what marketing and technology and accounting and brokerage services does for you. So make sure you do that. Number five, plug into the North American Leadership Series. Every single Monday morning at 11.30 to noon, we interview someone who's killing it with agent attraction. That particular class is not about listing homes or working with buyers. It's about retiring. It's about acquiring stock. It's about building your organization like Gary Keller did. He built an organization. How'd that work out? How did Cold Rule Bankers organization work out? Locally, we have Lions. 50 years they've been at it. Almost 1,000 agents. Companies worth millions of dollars. How'd that work out? Really good. And it's your turn. You can't just be a superstar salesperson. If you're a superstar salesperson, you're renting a very expensive house. And if you rent an expensive house or any house for 20, 25 years, your biggest dream is to get your security deposit back. Did I scrub the toilets? Did we clean the bathroom? Did we shampoo the carpets? Are they going to give us our security deposit back? Are we going to get 25? We got it all back. They're giving it all back to us. Really? Is that your big dream? After 25 years, you missed the whole point. It was all about equity, baby. There's not a tenant that reaches out their hand and says, I rented this building for 25 years. I want 80% of the equity. Every landlord in the world would laugh them at them. They'd, now that's not how it works. So really important you attend that North American Leadership Series. It's in the Red Hall in the EXP uh, world. You click, you go to meeting rooms, then you click on meeting rooms and it drops off another 30 of those. We're in the one called the Red Hall, Monday mornings, 11.30 a.m. Pacific. That's a great thing to attend if you want to expand. Number six, build a list of 100 names immediately. I won't go into details there because we have a shorter launch video of five simple steps where I really kill that one. But have you even built your list? I'm going to ask in this room, real quick show of hands, who built a list over 100 names? Raise your hand real quick. Mm, about half the room, okay? So you, you got to build that list. Number seven, watch all the videos at Brinko Resources. You have to watch them all tonight, but there are five-minute videos, three-minute videos, 15-minute videos. There's videos that are 30 minutes an hour. We might have one or two that are 90 minutes, maybe one. But 
watch them and familiarize yourself with what's there. That way, as you build your group, you can say, oh my gosh, you got to see Gene Frederick's three napkin presentation. Oh, you got to see Jay Kinder, that's amazing. Or, or you got to see Sean Kokoska teach business planning or Rick Jiha teach this. We have real estate education videos and all that. So make sure you familiarize yourself with us. How about this, build a wealth chart. The wealth chart is downloadable at Brinko Resources. So show of hands real quick. Who's taking the time to build a wealth chart? Let me see your hand up high. Excellent, a lot of the room. The rest of you, if you haven't done that, again, you're, you're, you're making chocolate chip cookies and you didn't get the chocolate chips and you won't get chocolate chip cookies. So that's like a basic no-brainer. You could download that tonight. Number nine, carve out time at least once a week to call people about eXp where you're not allowed to call buyers, you're not allowed to call sellers. You all know Fridays from two to five was sacred time. If I even was taught, James would yell at me, y'all need a James, someone to be vicious and mean. Just kidding, but not really. He was like, don't talk to buyers. That is not our future. Sellers is not our future. Building a company like Dave Linegar did with Remax. Building a company like Berkshire Hathaway, which was Warren Buffett's company, a billionaire. Billionaires own real estate companies. And I realize you may not want to be a billionaire, but what's wrong with being a millionaire or having something you know, worth, worth a tremendous amount of money? Um, so carve out time, you could, do, you could do what's called the 21020, which is you talk to two people every morning, 10 a week, uh, 21040, 40 a month, and guess what? You will get people that sign up. It's just a numbers game. The funny thing is people always ask me, how do you talk to somebody in the EXP? How do you change your mind? Don't. The worst thing you can do is sponsor five or 10 people that you sold the EXP. You wanna find five or 10 or 15 people that are excited about EXP. You want people, like uh, Jay Kinder says, once you see it, you can't unsee it. You want people go, that call you the next go, I couldn't sleep last night. I woke up at 5 a.m. this morning. You gotta find the ones where the bell comes on. Now listen to me, the tipping point is coming. I could name 10 agents that are going live here in Sacramento that are massive local agents, and they've already recruited 10. We probably have 100 agents about to join Lickley. And then when everyone sees them, they'll be like a floodgates are going to open. There was a period where Keller Williams struggled, and then the floodgates opened, and they completely dominated here in Sacramento. Part of that was Remax. Part of that, it was Coldwell Banker and Lions. Part of that, it was Century 21 Prudential. Part of that, it was Red Carpet Real Estate. Part of that, it was Jones Brandon Holland. Anybody old in this room? You know, Jones Brandon Holland was a, he's a, you know, my buddy, we're the same, Philip, my friend, we're old. He knows Jones Brandon Holland. They got bought by Coldwell Banker. They had gobbled up by Rilogy, the billion dollar head fund. This is the progression. EXP is the progression. And, and maybe in 10, 15, 20 years, someone will gobble us up. But in the meantime, you could do quite well, okay? So it, it'll be pretty exciting. Okay, next, next point. Um, number 10, share the webinar with somebody in person, if you can, each day. James, how exciting was it to do an 8 a.m. breakfast appointment? When Joe and Marguerite came over to my office to watch the webinar at 8 o'clock in the morning, they were not excited. They were doing it as a favor to me. I can tell you that right now. And guess what, Marguerite? When you and Joe were watching it, and then you started crying and wiping your makeup and your mascara, and you look at Joe and you're like, we're doing this. I'm like, yes. It was put a bounce on my step for the rest of the day. When you have a lunch appointment, when I met with Chris Okamura at lunch, I looked forward to it all morning. I had the lunch. It went great. And when I met with um, John and Valerie over here, Jennings, I was excited about it. It'll put a bounce in your day. It, it, it's not like, it's easy. And it's something you look for. You should have an appointment with someone every day. And if you do that, it adds up. Five a week, 20 a month. Sometimes if you could do two a day. Sometimes I had an appointment at 9 a.m. and one at 5 after work on my way home for coffee. And guess what? People started signing up. Do not raise the dead. Preach to the living. Find people that have a twinkle in their eye. You, if you talk 10, 15 people into this, find people who want to do it. Run with the 100 or drag one, which sounds more like more fun to you. <laughs> Learn to run with people. Don't talk. They don't see it. It's not their time. Their gate is closed, as my friend Gene Frederick says. Very important part. Again, if you could watch the webinar with someone in person, 
the, it goes from like a 30% success rate to like an 80% success rate. If you will watch the webinar with people in person and not email to, you, it's like listings. You just, do you email and text your listing appointment? Or do you get your butt and drive out to Wilton or over to the Delta or Napa or up to Newcastle or El Dorado Hills or Cool or Placerville? You drive there because you know if you're there, you're going to connect with them and make a personal connection. So this is no different. You need to treat it like a listing appointment. And I would tell the agents, treat this like a million dollar listing appointment. And by the way, it's 10 times more valuable than that. But the people I knew, and I call people I knew, I'd be like, Amir, do not blow me off. Don't go run out the door at 9 a.m. to go work with a buyer. This is way more important than any buyer you could ever meet with. This could be life changing. I mean, I laid it on heavy. You do what works for you. That's why I said, do not, Mike, do not blow me off. And I would say this to people, because they'll blow you off. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm going to show property. Well, that's your fault. You didn't tee it up, right? And so don't do appointments, if you can, during the day. Early in the morning, late in the evening, it, it just rocks and rolls. Okay, next one. You want to sponsor or enroll 10 agents ASAP. This is number 11. It's really important to get your momentum. This is all about momentum. That is job A. Sponsor 10 agents. Enroll 10 agents ASAP. List 10 agents. A lot of you have heard me say this before. Three years ago, Erica knew me. I sold, uh, I did 60 transactions, 60 homes. What did I earn from that? A lot of money. What do I get paid today from those 60 homes I sold three years ago? Anybody? Nothing. Nothing. Three years ago, I simultaneously listed 40 agents, some in Tucson, some in Dallas, some in Nevada, some in California. And what do I get paid today? Well, from all the deals we're closing here in March, I'll get April 22nd rev share, probably about 350,000 a month. And if I don't get out of bed, that is the income. So that's what those 40 agents did three years ago. I don't even work at it anymore. They can hardly get me to talk to one for me. I talk to them for you guys. I don't need to do it. It's not a perpetual forever thing. You do it once. Real estate, we have all been grinding in this for decades. That's why Kyle Whistle's flying into Sacramento, who has voted the number one use of video realtor in all of North America by Inman News. And if you don't know Inman News, they're the Wall Street Journal for real estate. Wall Street Journal's in charge of the stock market and the New York Stock Exchange and anyone who's into the financial markets reads the Wall Street Journal. Well, if you're in real estate, guess what? It's Inman News. And Inman News says Kyle Whistle is the man. He is the one. He is the anointed one. Nobody better. He's flying into Sacramento speaking to us April 9th for Stacey on. He will be here. We're paying for him at great cost and having him come for an hour to share with you. Learn from this man. Most people market not in the year they live in. I love that quote. I'll say it again. Yeah. It's simple to get. Most people, what do you mean? Well, they, they, they door knock. They use flyers, they use the penny saver, the newspaper, magazines, uh, uh, door hangers, uh, the yellow pages. They're, they're not even with today. So we're gonna teach you, Kyle Whistle will teach you how to do this. Now here's the deal. This last month he earned $678,000 in commission this past month, and it was February. Not a big month, that's what he earned in the month. He's coming to teach you guys here in Sacramento. Now here's the thing, he's also an EXP. He's signing up people in EXP. He's building a huge business in EXP. He's, and he, he's the number one guy in North America, and he's in EXP. Why is that? Because he's tired of grinding, too. He's in San Diego, but he's grinding, and I don't care. And you build a bigger mass trap. Once you start making a million dollars a year, two million a year, three million a year, your house gets a little bigger, car gets a little bigger, and you're actually trapped. So all the stars, they're coming to EXP. So very important, very important part there. So number 11, sponsor 10 agents ASAP. Kyle will be here and he's doing the same thing. Number 12, number 12 don't be a lone wolf. Don't be a lone wolf. Ask lots of questions. Some of you right now, I'm looking around this room, you're lone wolves. You are not a lone wolf. You call me and you ask for help and I like that. And there, I don't want to bother Brent. I don't, that, that's on you. Uh, uh, why doesn't Brent call me? I'm sorry, I can't. There's 7,000 of you now on my seven <laughs> levels. And on levels 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, there's probably another three, four, probably 10 or 11,000. I can't call you. Uh, but I respond to people that, are, that reach out to me with a text message. If you email me, James talks to you, maybe. <laughs> right? I don't do email. 
If you, anything else, you've got to text me. The only way you're getting me is text me. So, but we will help you. Don't be a lone wolf. Reach out, reach out to your sponsor, your sponsor, sponsor. Reach out to other people. Re reach out to Jay Nelson in Nashville. Reach out to Curtis Johnson in Phoenix. Kyle Whistle in San Diego. Cliff Freeman in Dallas. Shelly and Craig in Charlotte. These people will help you. Well, I can't bother them. That's crazy talk in your head. These people will, Jeff Whitespear in Houston sells like, or I think he's Houston, sells 200 homes a year with KB Core. Man, I'm on the phone, right? We were on the phone peppering him with questions. I'm not afraid because I'm not bothering them. I'm asking for help. I'll help them. We're, we're one big fire. We work together, but some of you just lone wolf it. Please don't do that. Number 13, utilize your sponsor and your sponsor sponsor uh, to help you follow up. Work with your upline. Get involved. Work with them. Number uh, 14, introduce them as your partner or your mentor or your coach. Don't say, this is my upline, Joey. This is my, this is the, you know, the big deal. Say, no, I want to introduce you to my sponsor, my mentor, my coach. He's helped me so much. Do you have a quick minute? Let's call Joey. Do you have a minute? No, I don't have a minute. Everybody has a minute. So how do you talk to people? You know, everything's quick. They call me, do you have a minute? Let's call Brent. You talk to me, then we end up talking 10 or 15 minutes. Then I'm going, hey, let's meet. I'd love to meet you for coffee. Let's have lunch. Hey, why don't you come to this event? I'll meet you afterwards and we'll go out to coffee. And I'm giving them next steps. So you, you want to get on the phone with your sponsor, your sponsor, sponsor. Um, number 15, text, call your sponsor every day with questions or your sponsor, sponsor. Reach out. James, case in point, we joined EXP and my sponsor, a single mom from Dallas, I did not know. We'd met at a real estate accord. I didn't remember her. Stranger. And two months later, what did she say to us two months later? She said, she says, I'm exhausted, was what she said. She goes, you guys are wearing me out. We were all over this. We were like really passionate and intense. And if you will get passionate and intense about listings, you'll get listings. If you'll get passionate and intense about buyers, you'll get buyers. Whatever you get passionate, focused, and intense, go to the gym, you'll look like me. Okay maybe, <laughs> okay, maybe that didn't work, but here's the deal, obviously. But here's the deal. We know, right, if you get passionate and intense, focus, you total immersion, you go all in and you get the right mindset, you're going to make it. It's going to happen. You want to be the greatest dad, read books on being a dad, all that stuff. So go all in. And so same thing, attracting agents to CXP, you got to get all in. You got to guard in the battles in your heart and in your mind because your mind will go, uh-uh, you're not him. You're not, you're not Rob Flick. You're not Sheila Fairzron. You're not Gene Frederick. You're not Jay Nelson. Oh, no, you're not. You know what? Be you. Be authentically you. Be a wild woman, a wild man. Be, come from that. People respond to authenticity. Am I trying to be Sheila? Am I trying to be Jean Fred? No, I'm just me, man. Be you. You're amazing. Well, I'm not, I'm not that. No, you are. You're amazing. You, I mean, not to preach you, but you're created in the image of God. You're like a cool person. You're amazing. And love people. People respond to love and kindness and warmth. That's who you want to be. You want to be light in a dark world, as they say. So number 16, make a list of the seven people above you in your organization. They'll help you. Like your sponsor, your sponsor, sponsor people above them. And reach out. Some of you, like if you can name every single person, seven above you, who, who make money, raise your hand. If you can name them all, raise your hand. One person. So the rest of you should go, here's who they are. Well, it's so-and-so, 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 Brent, Sheila, Rob, Jean. Who sponsored Jean? Elizabeth Riley. And who's, you know? And so and get, their get their cell phone numbers, and you should be able to text them. You can text all of them on a thread, go, hey, who knows when we're opening Portugal? Uh, one of us will go, yeah, we're opening this day. Who knows where I need to go in accounting to fix a, a commission check? Oh, you go here. Who knows the broker from Michigan? I can't seem to reach him. Somebody will answer you, but you, you just send a message to your sponsor. Your sponsor's out showing property or in a listing. You don't get an answer, and you wait a day or two. You should put together a text thread. Fidel and Miguel, we're in Vacaville. Do we have a text thread we use? There's like 12 of us on that thing. Someone asks a question, they get two or three answers. Maybe you know a good roofer. Anybody know a good home inspector? Hey, wh wh what are, when are we going to um, open in Mexico? You know, what's that going to look like? Um, all that kind of stuff. Very, very powerful. Uh, number 17, attend or start a lunch and learn plus pray. You should come every week and bring a guest. I always see Fidel and Miguel in Vacaville. And their businesses are growing. They're making money. They're there. 
It's not a big deal. Show up. Here's what happens. Because it's not in your calendar, also you have the ability to bring someone, but you're showing property that you could have shown at two or three, but because you weren't committed to lunch and learn, you skipped it, and now you could have brought someone to lunch and learn, but you can't because you're showing property. For us, the first thing we put in our calendar every year was EXP Con, our annual convention. Then we put the shareholder convention, and then we put in the lunch and learns. Have we ever missed a lunch and learn? No. no, we've never missed one, ever. Not one in three years. But we're all in. We know what we wanted. We've done decades of real estate. Real estate's great, but we want to build an amazing company. And showing up and having a sandwich once a week for an hour is not a very huge, painful price to pay. But somehow, you're like, well, I don't have anybody. Well, somebody else might have somebody. And they care that you're there. So if you're in Ohio, if you're in Texas, if you're in Florida, it matters that you're there. Because your turn's coming when you show up with the guests and a bunch of other people are there. It's not your job to sponsor the people in the room, but it's your job to be there and be positive. It is not your job to sell them on EXP in the room. Please don't do that. Okay, number 18, attend the next big EXP event. For us, it's shareholders. Man, you should be in Florida. If you can afford it, you should be in Orlando. Go to that. It happens once a year. It's going to be amazing. And imagine if Sheila wasn't going to the annual convention. And she said, look, Brent, you should go. Oh, are you going to be there? No, I won't be there. I'm going to stay home. It's not convenient. I, I wouldn't have gone if she wasn't going to be there. And if I wouldn't have gone, I wouldn't have, we wouldn't have come back and signed up 40 people in eight months. We might have made it to the shareholders. Matter of not, I wouldn't even maybe be here today. Her committing to go to the annual convention changed my life and changed your lives. Whose life are you going to change? By, you know what? I am going to Orlando. I will be in Florida for the annual shareholders meeting. My, your shareholder. It is your shareholders meeting. It is not EXP shareholder meeting. Stop thinking it's Glenn's company. It is your company. This is my company. It's what Kennedy said. Everyone loved Kennedy in the 60s. Ask not what your country could do for you. Ask what you could do for your country. Take ownership of your business. There's 2 million agents out there, you guys, and they're coming. They're finally coming. I could name names of people right now who have watched for three years and go, man, uh, we were told EXP is going to go away. EXP just gets bigger and bigger and bigger and better and better and better. They're like, I'm in. And they're coming with 10 and 12 and 14 people right now. And they've resisted for three years. The floodgates are about to open. And whoever starts planting those seeds will reap a massive reward. You could join this company in five years. And the opportunity is outrageous. It's so good. But you got, you got to you know, quit selling yourself on why you can or why you shouldn't. So here's the bottom line. You need to go to the next big event. The bounce you get off that, when people see that event, it, it takes a 12-inch drop from their head to their heart. It is huge. Number 19, support your group. Um, in other words, text, call weekly, make sure they're plugged in, invite them to stuff. Number, um, number 20, duplication is how you grow. Um, basically, how you show up matters. How do you show up here today? Were you focused? Were you paying attention? Are you texting right now? Are you learning? Are you growing? So that, that is a big thing. Number 21, what's your big vision, your dream, your freedom number? Why are you doing this? Some people are like, well, I don't know what my vision is. I don't know what my dream is, but I do know what my freedom number is. Some of you are like, what's a freedom number? What does it cost you to live? Is it 5,000 a month? Is it 10,000 a month? Is it 15? Is it 20? Is it 25,000 a month? 30? What does it cost you to live? Well, it costs me, uh, my bills add up to 15,000 a month. That's your freedom number. So when your revenue share hits 15,000 a month, you're free. I can promise you this. Coldwell Banker, Century 21, Berkshire Hathaway, Keller Williams, Remax, you know, whoever, they're not going, let's help you retire with dignity in the next five years. Let's help you get to the point where you don't have to do real estate. There are no passionate, empowered speeches about that because they don't want you to retire. They want you to keep producing escrows for the next 20, 25, 30 years. They want to milk the cows, okay? We want you to retire. We want to help you sell more real estate. We want you to be successful. But we want to get you to the point when you, I can't even tell you what it's like. When I remember when we started hitting like 25000 a month in rev share. Are you kidding? How many of you could be more comfortable financially? It took five months. You know why it only took five months? Because we were radically committed. Now, the goal, so all you did was EXP. No, I had 18 to 28 listings. We had escrows, we're managing escrows, we had sellers that were excited, we had sellers that were upset. 
We had uh, buyer's agents that were excited. We had buyer's agents that were upset because the home didn't appraise and the seller wouldn't lower the price or the appraisal came in bad or the inspection went bad and the seller won't fix a thing. What do you mean they won't fix a thing? It's just real estate, man. The, the mortgage broker couldn't do the loan when they said they could do the loan or they need another week extension, the rate lock, and then that messes up the purchase. That's real estate, right? Yep. I mean, it's unbelievable. I, trust me, I know this stuff. Well, guess what? I want to, you got to think about, begin with the end in mind. In other words, what will your rev share be in six months? What will it be? I don't know. Well, you should think about it. You should know what your rev share will be in six months. James, do we know what our rev share will be in six months? Do we know what it'll be in a year? We've planned it out. Do we know how many agents we'll have in seven more years? What's the number, James? 57,000 in the seven levels. In the seven levels, which means we need you to have four, five, ten, twenty thousand. We're gonna work for you. We're gonna fight like dogs for you. I, I, my managers at Remax were like, hey, if you need anything, let me know. That was it. Team leaders at Keller Williams and I was one. Hey, if you need anything, let me know. If you need anything, let's have coffee. If you want, that was it. It was always me going to events at EXP. Man, we will get in there, roll up our sleeves, and fight like dogs. Fidel and Miguel. How often do I come? Do I come every time I say I'll come? Yeah, By the way, I have the Ruth Chris certificates in my car, and you both won one, but I forgot to bring them yesterday. They're in the car. Walk me out. I'll give them to you. But here's the deal. I invest time, effort, energy, money. So do you guys. And so show up. Mean what you say. Say what you mean. And, and, and live with your heart on your sleeve, man. And people will respond to you. If they're not responding to you, you are not sold yourself. People respond to me because I am sold. So let's you and me do it together. Let me help you. Let Frank Crandall help you. Let Chris Okamura, Marguerite, local, do it. There's people, we'll team up. There's lots of people. Joe, people will help you. You got to reach out. Amir, has Tom Daves and Don Yoakum and Randy Bird helped you? Yeah, Apparently not, Mott. He wasn't really <laughs> sold if you guys are watching this. They're not here. Randy actually flew from Portland to do the seminar. He, he flew from Portland to help you here in Sacramento. Because that's his sponsor's out of Portland. And and I told Randy and Randy moved to Portland and, and so we help each other. I was kidding, he was sold in this case. But so anyways, <laughs> all right, so here's so here's the bottom. You need to think about what your rev share is gonna be in six and twelve months. And you need to work for it. Things don't happen by accident. You must be purposeful. You got to be intentional. So, um, which is my next one, 23, set your goals. How many are you going to sponsor? Two a month, three a month, three a month. It's 36 a year. So how do I do three a month? Well, you do so much a week. And then you hit your weekly goals, you hit your monthly goals. I got three this month. It doesn't feel like much happened. I just did three. Keep going. 12 months from now, you have 36. What do you have out of that? You're going to have five or six cranking groups. Five or six cranking groups. What about the other 29? It's the 80-20 principle. You sponsor 10 to get two. You sponsor 20 to get four. And, and, and it's, just, it's just the way it is. So what are your goals? How many are you going to sponsor? How many be in your group in six months? 200? How many in your group in a year? 400? Maybe all you can see is 50 in six months and in a year, 100. My big vision for EXP when I was brand new, and some of you are brand new, would to maybe sponsor 10 or 15 and to maybe have 100 my first year. That was right, James? And that was mine. He saw bigger things. But, and I thought, and I remember telling the president of the local uh, brokerage, but if the stars align, maybe I could sponsor 15 to 20 and maybe there'd be two or 300. He laughed his head off in my face and said, I have 27 managers at my company. We don't grow by a net two to 300. How are you going to add two or 300 your first year? Grow. That would be a net two to 300. And I went, yeah, you're probably right. You know, but this, I got to work. And 13 months later, we had 870. Is that more than two or 300? Oh, yeah. And you think that's not all here. Well, they're all in Sacramento. No, we're in 50 states. We're in every province of Canada. I just found out I have 75 agents in the UK, 35 in Australia. I didn't even know that. And so <laughs> you plant seeds. Everybody wants a vineyard. You better plant some vines. Everybody wants an orchard. You better plant some trees. I planted 40 trees, 40 vines in eight months. This is a momentum issue. This is all about momentum. It has always been about momentum. And you got to be all in it. And because I did a lot in a short period of time, and it wasn't that hard. It was fun. It was exciting. When you build this hard, it's easy and fun. When you poke it with a stick, it's miserable. I promise you, you're miserable. 
You may only have fun, but you're kind of being tortured, right? It's the same thing. If you try to be a listing agent, you're miserable. If you try to figure out buyers, you're miserable. If you commit yourself to the process, which I did, I figured out buyers, and I love buyers. They're fun. They weren't liars. They're, they're like a printing press for money. <laughs> could go show them homes this weekend, do a 10-day close, and earn $10,000 selling a normal home. It's amazing. You can earn 10 grand in the next two weeks. Same thing. They could, it's just it's the same for everything in life. Well, as we wrap up here on number 24, we have two left after this. The success formula, again, talk to two people a day, 10 a week, 40 a month. Some people say, forget that. I'm doing three a day before I start my real estate day, 15 a week, 60 a month. And then, okay, what do you, if you sponsor four or five, six out of your 60? And then you do that for a year. There's your 48 to 60 sponsored. Watch what happens. You couldn't contain it if you wanted to. It's like lightning in a bottle. So what is it with EXP? Here's what it is. Agents sponsor 5, 10, 15 and stop. Agents sponsor 5, 10, 15 and stop. That is what they do again and again and again. They maybe go to 20. I can tell you how many people have 20. And, and we didn't go to 5, 10 or 15 or stop or 20. We went to 40 and then we ended the year with 55. And it just went boom. That is the secret. That is, that is like those kids, they throw those things in the bottle and it fizzes, right? And you run away and the thing explodes. That is the magic formula to make this happen. Number 25, you should, this should lead to sponsoring three to five agents every month. And that's really what it takes to get the mojo. A one or two is good. Three to five gives you a momentum. And then you won't be pushing them so hard. And finally, number 26, EXP, making real estate fun again. Why do we do all of our events at beautiful resorts with golf courses and spas and swimming and beautiful restaurants? Because our number one thing is having fun. We don't bring you to Maui and put you in a convention center from 8 to 6. We don't take you to Florida and start to thing at 8 and go till 7 at night. All of our events that we do, we start at 2 in the afternoon and we go till 6. We go out to dinner and have fun. Every morning you can sleep in, go to brunch, hit the spa. I like to go golfing, hit the pool till about 2 in the afternoon. And then we do, then we mastermind. Because you know what? We are going to live our life. You can't put it on hold and four hours is enough. And so our core value at our events is making sure that we have community fun, that we're swimming in the pool, that we're enjoying the sun, that we, we take you to sun, sunny, warm locations. We just got back from Mexico. We're going to Orlando in, in April. In May, we have our uh, leadership event in Scottsdale, Marriott Desert Ridge, my favorite resort in the world with the Lazy River, Roy's Hawaiian Steakhouse. Um, you know, I don't smoke cigars, but people like to do that. They get on the fire pits at night. I love the smell of cigars. I like to sit out there and talk and dream and just be with you guys. And that is powerful. And so, and as you bring people to those events, I would bring people. I remember when I bought Don Yoakum to Scottsdale. You remember that, James? He was blown away. He was blown away. And how much does Don and uh, Tom have now in the group? A couple hundred or something? It was just him, 250. It was just him. What if I had not gotten him to Scottsdale? So yeah, I've bought an airline ticket. Yes, I've paid for a room. I've made the investments. I've gotten people there. You let the event do the heavy lifting. You, it can't, the events are where things go from a 12 inch drop from their head to the heart. How many of you were in Mexico? Everyone was invited to come, but only, yeah, but not everybody was there. But the ones who were there, I cannot tell you what a powerful that event had. It takes a 12-inch drop from your head to your heart. And when it gets here, baby, the sky's the limit. There is no glass ceiling. The only limitations are those that you impose on yourself. So this is our 26-point checklist. Um, was this good? Yeah. All right, good, good, good. Thank you.